Good day folks, in today's video we're going to test the payload capacity of the DJI Mavic Mini and see if it can carry a GoPro Hero 8 Black. I've done these tests in the past with other drones but never one as small and lightweight as the Mavic Mini. So let's just jump right in and see if it works. Now before we start here, I just want to mention that uh, anytime you add anything to your Mavic Mini, whether it be an ND filter, stickers, the propeller guards that come with the Mavic Mini, it will no longer weigh 249 grams. So here in Canada, before I can even do this test, I'm going to have to register the drone. The other thing I want to mention here too is that I don't really recommend doing this to your Mavic Mini. Now these motors are actually really small. Putting weight like the Hero 8 Black on top of it is really going to work the motors. It could prematurely wear your motors out or permanently damage them. I've never done any kind of testing with that, so I can't say for sure. But if you do something like this, you're doing so at your own risk. There's also a good chance you will void your warranty. So with all that disclaimer stuff out of the way, let's kind of get at it here. Now first thing is, why would you want to do something like this? For the most part, it doesn't really make any sense. The Mavic Mini actually has a really good camera on it. It's only 2.7K, but you can actually get some really stunning results with it. Mounting something like the GoPro Hero 8 Black on it would allow you to capture some nice 4K footage. However, your camera is going to be fixed. You won't be able to tilt it up or tilt it down. For myself, I find it just interesting to see how a drone can handle that extra weight. And if the Mavic Mini can handle something like the GoPro Hero 8 Black, that's a big bravo to DJI. The Hero 8 Black weighs about 130 grams, somewhere in there, approximately. Approximately. The Mavic Mini is 249 grams, so that means it would be able to carry half its body weight, and possibly more. Many different ways you could attach the GoPro to the Mavic Mini. I'm sure at some point there's going to be a third party seller that comes out with some kind of mount that has a quarter 20 on it. You could use one of the GoPro sticky mounts and just stick it to the top there. The only problem with that is you're going to have this permanent ugly black mount on the top of your Mavic Mini, which isn't really ideal, especially if you just want to grab a few shots here and there. I think for me what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a buckle mount. I'm going to set it on the top there, and then I'm going to use one of these uh, zip ties to attach it. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of this double-sided foam tape, and I'm putting that on for a couple of reasons. First off, it's to keep this from sliding around, because when I put this on, I don't want to over-tighten it. Uh, the other thing is, because it is a fairly thick foam, it should help with vibrations and kind of dampen it a bit. So I'm just going to take a small little piece like that and just stick it to the bottom. So then we'll just take our zip tie. Now we will attach the GoPro. And there we go, just like that, we have our GoPro attached. So let's just head out now and uh, we'll see how well it performs. We'll see how well the drone stabilizes itself. We'll see how well it flies, how responsive it is. And then uh, we'll capture some footage with the Hero 8 Black and we'll see what that looks like. In this video, I'm going to be really putting the Mavic Mini to the test because uh, it's actually very cold outside today. It's negative 10 Celsius with wind chill of like negative 18, I believe. That's 10 degrees below the recommended operating conditions. So between the extra weight and the extreme cold, it's going to be a really good test to see just what this drone can do okay let's see how it does here let's uh, take off you can see there it's hovering pretty stable quite impressive just take it for a little bit of a flight here Folks, as you can see, the drone actually handled quite well. Considering all that extra weight on there, it stayed very steady. I did experience a little bit of drifting, and it definitely was not as responsive as it is without a camera like the GoPro attached to it. But for the most part, it actually handled quite nice. I was really, really impressed with what this drone was capable of. Not to mention it was negative 10 degrees out there. That's 10 degrees below its operating temperature. Now, how about something like the DJ Osmo Pocket? Will the Mavic Mini be able to get off the ground and remain stable while having something like this attached to it? I'm just going to go back and uh, test that out.
As you can see in that clip there, it was able to get off the ground and hold itself fairly stably. I could tell by the sound of the motors it was working a lot harder than when we had the GoPro on there. I definitely wouldn't fly with this configuration myself, but what an impressive little drone this is. So yeah, that was an interesting test. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I don't really recommend that you do this because you could do some permanent damage to your drone. For a drone under $400, this thing is really impressive. I highly recommend anybody who's thinking about getting their very first drone, uh, definitely take a look at the DJI Mavic Mini. Even if you're already an experienced pilot and you have something like a Mavic 2 Pro, having a drone like this can be beneficial. It's just a nice quiet little drone you can throw up without bringing a lot of attention to yourself. Well folks, that's basically it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.